Is the ACC weighing down Notre Dame's schedule, or is it giving the Irish another chance at a playoff? Mark Rogers, TV, the voice of college football, breaking down every schedule in the Power Five. We do this each and every offseason, 70 all the way up to number one. Before we get to Notre Dame's schedule, we uh, encourage you to do your Amazon shopping by using the link in the description section below. And please, we will have such a good time if you join our Voice of College Football community on Patreon. Please go to Patreon and search Mark Rogers TV. We have a ton of interesting, interesting, exciting, and uh, what should be intriguing conversations coming up. Because of me? No, because of your suggestions. And we are going to unleash those very soon. All right, Notre Dame's schedule, number 46 in the country. Typically, Notre Dame's schedule is a whole lot more difficult than it uh, appears to be in 2019. And on paper was decent in 2018, but it turned out not to be such a difficult schedule. Not Notre Dame's fault. Unless uh, you're in the camp as such as I am, that they need to join a conference and should be forced to join a conference. And anybody out there that supports the ACC and believes that the ACC and Notre Dame are in the same conference, well, of course, Notre Dame would have won or been playing for the ACC championship last year as an undefeated team against Clemson. But they weren't. That was uh, that game and matchup was saved for the semifinal. Uh, so this Notre Dame schedule has been weighed down by ACC mediocrity. But uh, again, that same mediocrity that the ACC presented Notre Dame with five games out of 12 last year gave the Irish an opportunity to go to the National College Football Playoff. All right, Notre Dame schedule begins with the aforementioned uh, bottom of the ACC at Louisville. The Cardinals coming off a 2-10 and campaign, 0-8 and in the ACC and uh, now with Bobby Petrino out of town and Ken Satterfield taking over from Appalachian State. Bye week in week two for Notre Dame. Already a bye week to get them prepared for the big New Mexico game on September 14th. The most difficult stretch, and I stretch by saying a stretch during the regular season, it's a back-to-back affair at Georgia. So remember the Bulldogs came to South Bend two years ago and launched their bid for a national championship uh, title game, a run with a one-point win at Notre Dame. This time, Notre Dame makes the return trip to Athens September 21st at Georgia, followed by an interesting game at home against Virginia. Of course, the Cavaliers wrapped up 2018 in fine fashion with a shutout of South Carolina in postseason play. Then Notre Dame takes on Bowling Green October 5th. Very interesting schedule where Notre Dame obviously plays a, a, a number of major teams. So Notre Dame never criticized by me in regards to schedule uh, because aside from not playing in a conference, they go out and they schedule as difficult as they possibly can for the most part. But they have some gaps in the schedule, and especially in more recent years, they've had to go out and grab the New Mexicos, and the Bowling Greens to fill out the schedule. Last year it was Ball State. So they do have a light touch to begin October with uh, Bowling Green on the 5th. Then they've got USC. Then they've got a bye week before they meet uh, maybe their most difficult challenge of the season, whether that be at Georgia or at Michigan on October 26th. Of course, Notre Dame launched its uh, bid for the college football playoff with a win at home against Michigan by a touchdown to open at 2018. They play Virginia Tech, do the Irish November 2nd. The Hokies coming off their first losing season in quite some time, about 25 years. Notre Dame finishes out the month of November at Duke. Then what is typically a Somewhat a difficult game against Navy, but the midshipmen coming off its uh, worst season in a long, long time at 3-9. and nine. And then Notre Dame concludes with two difficult games against Boston College at home. And then the traditional affair against Stanford this year in Palo Alto after the Irish uh, drubbed uh, the Cardinal in South Bend last year. So the big games, of course, a date at Georgia at the end of September. Virginia at home. One week later, Michigan on the road, Stanford 
on the road. It's really the three big games there at Georgia, at Michigan, at Stanford, all three of those games on the road. And then the certain games that uh, could be losses, but Notre Dame will be a substantial favorite against the likes of Virginia at home, Virginia Tech at home, on the road against Duke, Boston College at home near the end of November. It looks like a 9-3 and three campaign to me for Notre Dame here in 2019. That's the forecast right now. I'll have my final and official predictions about two weeks before the season in August. So Notre Dame is bringing the 46th rated schedule in college football. It's usually a top 10 schedule, but because, again, of some of these uh, weak opponents like New Mexico, Bowling Green, and a few others creeping into the schedule. Louisville's way down. Navy's not as good as they used to be, and the ACC is down for the most part, and Notre Dame is not facing any of the better teams in the ACC. Therefore, it's number 46 in the nation, and a 9-3 and three projection right here at Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football. Down in the comments section, leave your prediction on Notre Dame for 2019. Let us know what you think of the schedule as well. Of course, do your Amazon shopping by using the link that you find in the description section. And join us, please. It'll be a whole lot of fun on Patreon, our uh, Voice of College Football community. And of course, you're already subscribed here uh, to the Voice of College Football. We'll see you next time with schedule number 45.